Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, all the political parties have submitted the name of preferred candidate for nomination after this election, depending on number of elective seats they are going to gain in this election. And the emerging news is that Chama Chakazi party leader, Moses Kuria, while submitting his list, his name is coming number one on that list as nominee number one in Chama Chakazi. The same Moses Kuria is running for a governor of Kiambu County. And uh, this has come in as a huge surprise to so many people. So we are wondering why is Moses Kuria putting his name on nomination list when we know he's running for an elective seat in this election? And why party leader decided to put his name first for nomination? Another question. Kuria is nominating himself as a member of parliament in case they gain enough elective seats. So the question is, why did Moses Kuria not consider to defend his Gatundu seat on Chama Chakaz? So many questions. Because remember, even for the Chama Chakazi to get slot for nomination, they need to get at least something like 12 members of parliament, something there like that. Around 12 members of parliament for them to be considered to get those slots for nomination. Anything less than that, even Chama Chakazi will not get anyone to nominate. So these are the many questions we are asking here. And we want to try and answer these questions because that is what we are doing here. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing. So at another time, once we release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone, anyone who don't comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Why? Moses Kuria refused to defend his seat on Chama Chakazi, but then present his name for nomination. You know, Moses Kuria has been rated so high, more than what he, he can deliver. Hmm. And he has been rated and chest thumping. There is one thing in my view, I believe that it could be the reason why Moses Kuria was certain to an extent he did not defend his Gatundu seat. Number one, Moses Kuria has used every means possible to fight President Uru Kenyatta. He has fought at President Uru Kenyatta so badly. But seemingly, it's like Moses Kuria alikuwa na punch what he cannot afford. And it is backfiring on him. There is possibility that Moses Kuria discovered that because he has been fighting President Uru Kenyatta, he might not win this war. And therefore, if he attempted to go and run, defend his Gatundu seat, he was going to lose because President Uru Kenyatta has the machinery on the ground to use every means possible to make sure that Moses Kuria is going home. So he will no longer be President Uru Kenyatta's member of parliament. He will never present President Uru Kenyatta. And learning this, Kuria decided to go for another seat, maybe a governor, so that when he loses, at least it will be a different story. Unlike when he will be losing as a member of parliament. Because losing as a member of parliament, it was going to be a lot of shame to him. And again, a sense of defeat. At least as a governor, they will say he was trying for the first time. But as a member of parliament, then he lose, then that was going to send him into political oblivion. So, this confirms to us that President Uru Kenyatta still has a say on who become the member of parliament in Katundu. That's number one. Now, number two, 
if it was not for President Uhuru Kenyatta, then Moses Sakura could have not become a member of parliament. The member Kure came in through a by-election. What happened? The president decided to negotiate with other people who were running for that same seat. There was consensus. And they stepped down for Moses Kuria. So Kuria went in unopposed because of President Uhuru Kenyatta. So it is Uhuru who presented Moses Kuria to the people of Gatundu. And that's how he started gaining his popularity. The worst thing is that Kuria turned into abusing President Uhuru Kenyatta and he became an enemy. So the same people whom President Uhuru Kenyatta went to and asked them to vote for Moses Kuria are here seeing how Moses Kuria is abusing the president. They have seen how Moses Kuria has betrayed Uhuru Kenyatta. And because of that, these people are not happy with Moses Kuria. Kuria is a politician. He was reading the ground and he discovered that these people might not vote for him. He simply completely lost the touch with the people on the ground. Not because of development track record, but because he betrayed President Uhuru Kenyatta. <laughs> Moses Kuria ni kama nyoka. If we did today, ikisha kuwa kubwa, it turn and bites you. That's exactly the definition of Moses Kuria. That is how he has acted. And so, the people of Gatundu constituency might be sympathizing with President Uhuru Kenyatta the way Moses Kuri has treated him. And because of this, they might vote for a candidate that President Uhuru Kenyatta is going to give them on jubilee ticket. So Kuria has no ground in, in um, Gatundu and because he realized this, that's why he was not running. Now, the question I'm asking myself on this punchline, Kuria has nominated himself while he's running for the governor. Now, my question is, what about his running mate, that lady? Because they are running here, but Kuria has secured a chance for himself just in case they get more elective seats. What about the running mate? What I'm wondering is how that running mate is feeling when they are campaigning with Moses Kuria. When she's aware that Moses Kuria has nominated himself, he has presented his name for nomination, and he might have a chance to be nominated in case they gun up these seats. He might become a senator. If they will have at least three senators, he might have a chance. Or he might become a member of parliament. Then come at Akubali Kwa MCA. What about his running mate? So, again, we are learning that Korea, after the info track uh, opinion poll that was conducted, Korea discovered that he is completely far away from winning the Kiambu seat. He's very far. He was trailing behind with 5%. Yet he has been comparing himself to people like James Nyoro. Kimani Wamatangi and William Kabogo. These three are playing a different league, not the Korea League. But Korea is trailing behind. So Korea discovered that he might not win. In, in fact, not might. He discovered that he is not going to win the Kiambu governor seat. And that's why you see the kind of. Uh, campaign they are having now, Kuria is causing chaos in Kenya Kwanza campaign. We have seen what Kimani Wamatangi went through and we analyze it here. This is sign of anger and defeat that Kuria is trying to portray. 
So he is aware that they are not going to win this election. And he might become number three or four. That's why he has decided to give up. By the way, what Kuri has done is exactly just giving up. Because what will his competitors tell the public when they are campaigning? Kuria has no interest in serving as a governor because already his name is on the nomination list. So people should not waste their time voting for Moses Kuria. That's what they will tell people. And even the electorate is going to lose hope completely from Moses Kuria because they know this is a man who has put his focus on nomination. So why should we elect him as a governor? <laughs> so many people have overrated Moses Kuria. What Kuria forget he, it is that he was a project of President Uhuru Kenyatta. Even before he said that Uhuru, Raila is a Uhuru Kenyatta's project, what he forget is that at one time he was President Uhuru Kenyatta's project. And you know, when you have your own project, you can easily destroy that project. That is what exactly. President Uru Kenyatta is silently doing destroy Moses Kuria. And by the way, if Kuria was smart politician, he could have decided to become Mutuam Kono, either or President Uru Kenyatta or William Root. Don't vie for anything, but just become Mutuam Mkono. Or even put Ichama Chakazi to Azimio and Akuja to Kwe Mutuam Mkono or Raila Odinga. Because even I'm sure William Ruto will have no space for Moses Kuria after this August general election. Because if it was the wish of, uh, of William Ruto, he would want Moses Kuria to be in UDA. But Kuria refused. He went to form another political party and they are fighting on ground. At least Ruto could have considered him for something else. Or if he could have said with the President Uru Kenyatta, he could have retained his position as a member of parliament or something else which could have been better. But because of chest stamping and lack of strategy, Kuria is lost. And this is a political lesson to other people who have behavior like Moses Kuria. That's my view. I don't know what to think about this, but let us meet in the comment section to have a continuation of this conversation. See you in our next video.